almost a week without rematches. An opening segment that turned into our main event, which turned into a triple threat match at SummerSlam, which also turned into a rematch next week. Damian Priest finally gained the opportunity that he deserved right after WrestleMania 37. I guess Goldberg really is next, and is Natalia actually really injured? All that and more as we dissect the July 26th episode of Monday Night Raw for the first time in a really long time. Welcome to a brand new episode of Can We Talk Wrestling, and we are starting. second week with fans um we had some cheers some boos some non-reactions and rematches who loves a good rematch we do so we're gonna start off with obviously the title of this video welcome back Keith Lee because this is the second week in a row where Keith Lee has actually lost last week he lost to Bobby Lashley you know challenging him well accepting the open challenge and this week because of COVID stuff with Jeff Hardy. If you did not know, Jeff Hardy actually tested positive for COVID-19 Sunday. So, well wishes to him. And because of that, we obviously could not have the rematch between Cross and Hardy. So we had to do Keith Lee versus Karrion Cross, which, you know, that's an NXT TakeOver main event right there. And this was a really good match. But here's the problem with that. If you had Cross lose, that ruins more credibility to him. But then if you had Keith Lee lose, like, it's the second week in a row that Lee has lost. So you're also ruining the credibility to him, which is why these two should have, like, stayed not in the same path. Like, they should have been like this instead, like, polar opposites instead of, like, together. The match was good, but I don't know where Lee goes from here because right now he's just being used in very random segments right now. And Keith Lee is literally your guy who should really be the one to dethrone Bobby Lashley. I mean, I have my theory of what's going to happen at SummerSlam, but he's your dude. And he's losing. So, welcome back, Keith Lee. You've been gone for a really long time since I believe around the Royal... I believe the week before the Royal Rumble, the Monday Night Raw before the Rumble was his last of Wii appearance, and uh, you're back. And what has changed? Nothing. But, from bad to good-ish, our new woman's champion, Nikki Ash. Nikki Ash comes out so excited. She still is on cloud nine. Cannot believe that she is the new Raw Women's Champion. Talks about how her new superhero gimmick has really brought on this new confidence to her. Charlotte then comes out and complains that she lost the title. It wasn't fair. She wasn't even standing when the ref rung the bell. Then Ripley came out because, you know, we just need Rhea Ripley in the title picture. And she was complaining about how she needs her rematch because she just lost the title even though two years ago we could have sworn that WWE had this rule of there's no automatic rematches, okay? So, like, triple threat matches are the thing now, right? Like, every pay-per-view needs to have a triple threat match for a title. So at SummerSlam, it's Nikki Ash versus Charlotte versus Rhea Ripley. So this is obviously how... Ash is sadly going to lose the title because it's going to be a triple threat match. And obviously, like, Charlotte's going to pin Rhea or Rhea's going to pin Charlotte. That's how it's going to take place so you can still protect Nikki. But Charlotte, well, Nikki challenges Charlotte to a one-on-one -on -one match, which leads us to our main event. And this was a really good match. And Charlotte wins. And Charlotte's cutting this promo because Kevin Patrick congratulates her and she's like, why are you congratulating me? Like, this is so obvious I was going to win. And Nikki Ash goes, well, I'm almost a superhero and I almost beat you. So, rematch next week. Why? 
Like, this this is the problem. We, we can't keep doing this. You would think they would stop the rematches when we went back to fans. Like, what what is the point? Charlotte didn't cheat to win. It would make more sense if we did Rhea versus Nikki. That would make a little bit more sense than doing Charlotte and Nikki again. <sighs> no. We shouldn't have rematches. That's what I want in life. No rematches. But it's raw, so I have to live with it. But, Bobby Lashley and Goldberg. So obviously MVP and Bobby Lashley are talking about how Goldberg confronted him last week, and they're talking about how, you know, is Goldberg really next? Goldberg can't beat Bobby Lashley, he's unstoppable. He's been unstoppable since he won the title back in March. And Sheldon Benjamin and Cedric Alexander come out and confront Bobby and this leads to a two on one handicap match but my confusion with this is we had a whole feud with the two of them for a solid month about how they hated each other so why are we putting them back together like I don't understand <laughs> obviously Bobby won and Bobby did the jackhammer to finish it off so that's like a little rub to Goldberg but like you, you split them up why are they why? I'm so confused. So, I don't know where we go from here in terms of that because I can see this only being a one week thing, but then I'm also really annoyed that like it even happened in the first place. So I don't know. I really don't know where we go from here. That was really random and really confusing. But her business, it was such a smart idea to break them up. Thank you so much, WWE. And the last really big thing that happened, well, two things, so I'll talk about, obviously, the injury. So, I didn't see exactly where it did happen, but there was at one point, it was even Maria Dewdrop versus Natty and Tamina in a, so WWE's new th also thing, their new thing is a contenders match. So, basically, if you beat the champion, you get a championship match. They do this on AEW all the time. And... Natty somehow got hurt. Like I said, I didn't see exactly where, but it looked like a German injury. The trainer rushed right to her, and Tamina and the trainer were helping Natty to the back. As of 11.07 on Monday, there has been no update. So, um, well wishes if the injury is real. You know, I, I really hope it's not. I really hope she was just selling an injury, but if it is, um, prayers to you. And the funniest thing this whole thing was that they did this whole segment where they took the vignettes that they did for Eva Marie and put Lily in them. And instead of saying, like, I work hard to make my dreams come true and I inspire you to make your dreams come true, it said, I inspire you to make your nightmares come true. It was so funny. So obviously this is the direction we're heading in. It just scares me because and this was the problem, was that The Fiend kept on losing, and I feel like the same thing's gonna happen to Alexa, that Alexa's gonna keep on losing, because I don't think they're gonna have Eva Marie lose her first singles match since she's come back to the company. So, that scares me a little bit, that we're kinda going backwards. But I thought the segment was funny. I mean, anything to get Alexa on the card. Even Rhea, I could care less about. But I'm just happy it's not a title match. But speaking of titles and title matches, I am looking forward to it. SummerSlam, and I'm really hoping this happens, is Damian Priest and Sheamus. So this is something I have literally said since WrestleMania 37, is that after WrestleMania 37, when Bad Bunny and Damian Priest won, Priest should go after the US title. And although I had to wait a couple months, I'm really excited we're going in that direction. So tonight was match one, and it was a contenders match, and Damian won, so I'm assuming that this match is going to take place at SummerSlam. I'm also assuming that Damian's going to win. I'm really excited for it. Um, I think Priest deserves it. I think that Priest has also worked super hard. I think that the program with Bad Bunny definitely helped him and definitely like shed light on him, and he needs something to do. And I think it's perfect to give him the U.S. title. Um, give a face that title, let him run for it a little bit, and then I wouldn't mind seeing Priest and Cross, and then, you know, when Cross eventually loses the NXT title, I'm not saying he's going to lose it to Joe. I don't think he should lose it to Joe, to be honest, since Joe's not a full-time competitor in NXT. 
Um, whoever Cross loses it to, I would love to see Cross and Priest for the U.S. title and let Cross eventually get the title. I think that's the way they should go. But that was really all the major things. Um, Raw basically, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Um, it's good, but there's just a lot of things. Like, they need bigger storylines. I think we're going to run into the same problem where you look at, like, the SmackDown side of SummerSlam and you see, like, that's so much better than you look at the Raw side and it's very, like, stale and bland and, like, there's no really big matches that are catching your attention. Like, Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg. Is anyone really looking forward to this match? The only way I will be looking forward to this match is my prediction is right. Goldberg wins the title and then Biggie cashed in on Goldberg because that, that's his whole thing. Like, Biggie has wanted to wrestle Goldberg for the longest time. And then Biggie wins. That is the only way I'm accepting this match is well. If that does not happen, this match is for no reason. But that, that's it for me, pretty much. Um, so, let's see, tomorrow, tomorrow plans are next day. Wednesday we have AEW. Saturday, we have SmackDown. And, uh, let's, and, more importantly, are uh, the Ring Runner Women's Division tournament starting this week? Let's get hyped. There will be an interview over on my channel, as I just booked it today. So make sure to check that out on Thursday. I'll edit it, and I'll have it up probably before in fact. And make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Kimmy underscore Sokol, and of course on Instagram at Kimmy Talk Wrestling. And you can see a bunch of the other stuff I do, because I do too much, and it's really scary. But we're here, and yeah, that's it for me. And, you know, watch, the, watch AEP on Thursday, and watch Indie Talks, it's up here. Yay! Bye.